A new statewide survey by Emory University shows the state's alarmingly high maternal mortality rate is top of mind for Georgians. It also shows they want to see state lawmakers do more about it. Fox 5's Eric Mock breaks down the survey for us with the Emory experts behind it. Well, according to this new survey out by Emory University and Research America, one out of every 10 Georgians knows someone who's either died during pregnancy, at delivery, or after giving birth. It's upsetting to know that one in 10 people know of someone, a friend or a family member, who's lost their lives. Um, to pregnancy-related causes. Danny Fallon is the dean of Emory University's Rollins School of Public Health. She says this survey shows Georgians are now very aware of an inconvenient truth about their state. For over a decade, Georgia has been amongst the worst-ranked states in the U.S. for maternal morbidity and mortality. We are right now 49th across the country. The survey also shows more than half have either experienced or known someone who has experienced complications during pregnancy. 47% said substance use disorders and 41% said mental health were the top factors in increased risk of maternal mortality. Fallon says they're right. When we look at the causes of maternal death during and right after pregnancy, me mental health and behavioral health are some of the top reasons for death. More than a third of people surveyed said racism is a major obstacle to mothers getting the maternal care they need in Georgia. An issue highlighted by studies that show black women in the state are three times as likely to die from pregnancy-related complications. The vast majority, 82%, say they want state lawmakers to devote more funds and resources to the Peach State's fatal flaw. In separate questions in this poll, um, they endorsed a state line item to the budget in Georgia, meaning portions of their tax dollars going towards these efforts. Now, Fallon says it's clear that many lawmakers are wanting to fix this problem. She says their extension of Medicaid to up to 12 months after birth does help postpartum vulnerability. But she says it's clear from this survey and other data that a lot more in funding needs to be unlocked for this. In Atlanta, Eric Mock, Fox 5 News.